Hi, Lou. It really is alarming, and many experts say there's several factors contributing to this black jobs crisis, factors such as rising housing costs, also shortage of economic opportunities. Now, this study was just released today by two groups, the UCLA Labor Center and Los Angeles Black Worker Center. It shows a widening inequality gap among African Americans residing in L.A. County compared to the rest of the population following the 2007 to 2009 recession, when some races have actually managed to rebound with the economy. Now, one of the highlights of this study just released today shows a quarter of blacks with high school degrees or less were out of work compared to 14% of whites. Also, African Americans lost blue collar jobs at roughly the same rate as whites in LA County, but had a tougher time obtaining replacement positions. Additionally, more black workers are reportedly underemployed as the average rents have risen to about $2,300 a month. Black workers are about 17 percent unemployed and more than 39 percent underemployed in low-wage work. The budget that was just released um, by um, uh, President Trump and the cuts to not only uh, services but also to workers. So when you close the EPA, when you shut down um, uh, the civil rights departments, when you uh, not invest in, in overtime protections, that impacts workers and it impacts and it, it exacerbates a crisis that is already at a breaking point. And there's been a lot of new construction projects across the county, even in this neighborhood of Lamert Park. You're seeing it right now, but this research, it shows over the years, there's been a decrease in those positions as well going to black workers. We'll have a lot more on the story coming up on the KTLA 5 News at 3 for now. Reporting live in Lamert Park, Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News.